Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shima and I forgot to put on the music. Okay. <laughs> okay, what, what playlist? What playlist? I've been showing my air forces so you know that a man's got dick that. Could you fly with a man with an airport? Please take it very kind to go back. Get you Sit down the brakes or fix that. Catch flights on low. Hold on, you guys. I think I want to use background for tonight. Let's play, see what is on. It's loud. Right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shima and I'm back with another pick a card reading for you guys. And this time around, this pick a card reading is going to be about what you can, uh, the good things that you can look forward to this week, okay? The good things that you can look forward to this week, I don't wanna look too far into the future. I don't like looking too far into the future. So yeah, just this week. What? Or the next seven days, it doesn't matter. Um, actually, I am uh, <laughs> shuffling the wrong deck. Let's get straight into the piles. Three cards. Three cards. What you can look forward to the next seven days or in the next week, okay? We have Lion, time to act. Pile number one. Pile number two, plenty of material things, gorgeous. Pile number three, we have nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you, okay? So, pile number one, you have lion. Pile number two, we have, what's that? Bowl. <laughs> pile number three, we have nest, okay? So, um, once you're ready, you can go ahead and choose your timestamps. Pause the video if you need to take a longer look, or you can go ahead and look at the um, my 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 thumbnail, right? If you can see, right, all the cards will be there. Because someone was complaining the other day that I don't put up the pictures all <laughs> all the three cards together. Okay, it's because I I I. I No reason, anyways. <laughs> Just choose your piles, you guys, and then we can get straight into pile number one, okay? So pile number one, we have, uh, you guys chose lion, right? Lion. You chose lion. Time to act. So you guys, um, some of you might be dealing with a Leo or you are a Leo uh, or you have strong Leo placements or yeah, your, your lioness side of you is going to come out this week. You are going to be taking action on something. You might be taking action on a person or a person who has Leo placements will be taking action on you. Okay. Whoever this is, they are mighty. I'm here. <laughs> mighty. For, for some reason, I'm here. Mighty. Uh, meaty. I just heard meaty, ooh, meaty. Okay, um, I guess, I guess you know what I mean when I say meaty, right? Okay, so yeah, um, I don't need to elaborate any further. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, part number one, this is like, there's, there's some, 
sexual undertones to this reading for some reason. So some of you might be getting um, lucky this week. Uh, you might be having... Uh, yeah, you might be hanging out with someone in your underwear. You'll find yourself... <gasps> really? I'm in my underwear now? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's something like that, okay? So you're going to find yourself... Um, having some sort of relations with whoever this is. Now, this person does not need to be a uh, someone with uh, Leo placements, okay? Um, because this deck, this particular this particular deck, doesn't necessarily say Leo, but because Lion is uh, associated with strength, I'm just saying Leo. But this could be any fire sign too. I'm hearing, okay? Leo, uh, Aries, and Sagittarius. Um, yeah, and. Uh, this person either one of you are going to just like take time it's it's you're just going to act on it okay or oh, this person is going to act on coming towards you lion this person could have the name uh, their initials could start with, uh, I don't know, I'm being um, drawn to the L and also the N, okay? All right. So, what you can look forward to this week? Number one. one. <laughs> Underwear. You'll be seeing someone in their underwear this week, okay? So for some of you, I mean, this is purely, of course I'm saying this, this is purely uh, consensual, okay? I'm not gonna pick up on any nonsense, but you will be seeing someone in their underwear this week, okay? <laughs> That's funny. Right, so this card is this deck is a bit hard to shuffle, but I'm just gonna ooh, okay. So we have the Queen of Cups and we have the therapist here. Well Queen of Cups. We have the Knight of Discs. This is their uh, the gourmet chef. Okay. And we have the lovers. Gorgeous, you guys. Actually, I'm going to get all the cards out first, okay? Let's do just six, uh, three more. Okay, so look at that, you guys. We have strength, right? Strength, Leo energy again. Okay. Nine of what is this? Nine of wands? Nine of wands, fortitude. Okay. Knight of Wands, and we have, wow, the Empress, okay? Bottom of the deck, <clears throat> we have Change. Change, with uh, Two of Pentacles here. Okay. Because this came on, it says, I choose you. All right, uh, the song is called I Choose You. So you guys are going to be choosing between two um, people this weekend who you're going to spend time with. And I think you're going to choose. I choose you, baby. It looks like you might be choosing between any combination between 
a Gemini, a Leo, Libra, Taurus, uh, we have the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Earth signs, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? When this person enters your life, okay, this person will act upon you. I'm hearing this person is going to act upon you. This person could be a good cook. Um, you might have dinner together. You might be going uh, out for dinner. You're, you're, you're going to go to a nice fancy restaurant, I'm hearing, okay? Because for some reason, I'm seeing with a gourmet chef here, and this looks like the outside of a fancy restaurant to me for some reason um, at the moment. Okay, it looks like some fancy restaurant and then uh, there's this gourmet chef. So you might be going on a date, all right? Um, definitely, you might be going on a date. But you're going to have to choose because I think you're going to have two people who are choosing, uh, who are asking you out on a date, all right? And you're going to be, you're going to be like, who, who do I go out on a date with? Maybe, maybe you might go out on a date with both of them, but only one of them. <laughs> One of them is going to end up I don't know how far you guys are going to take it but one of them you are going to be so attracted to whoever this is that you're just going to like I guess let's just say throw caution to the wind and you're going to find yourselves in your underwear all right and to put it to put it humorously okay <laughs> and you choose this person so you might go out on a date with two people but one of them might I guess you know bore you a bit because you need to be the therapist to this person you you're 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 the one who has to listen I'm hearing you're showing up as the Queen of Cups here okay the uh, a cancer Pisces Scorpio and if you're dealing with um, uh, someone who who has an ego I think it's one of these people have has an ego not not just an ego but it's, it's almost like this person is likes to I don't know why I just heard this this person likes hearing the sound of their own voice or something and or um, they talk and talk and talk and you're just the one listening and listening and listening and, and it's almost like you need to be the therapist to whoever this is and I think that you you're like mm. I mean, it's not to say that you don't want to be like the therapist or listen to this person. You would happily listen to this person if they were reciprocating the energy, the same energy that you're giving them. But I feel like one of these people, <laughs> um, you're going to turn down and you're going to end the night, uh, and end the night off um, early. But the other person, I think you might be dealing with a Gemini here, okay? If you're dealing with a Gemini, um, this, this is quite specific, so take it where it resonates. All these signs don't have to like, necessarily resonate, but I'm just picking up on this because of how it's placed on the spread here. So with the lovers and the empress here, this person, whoever this is, they are going to treat you like a fucking queen, like the empress that you are, like how you're meant to be treated, how you how you deserve to be treated, okay? Some of you might be mothers here. Um, yeah, mothers, single mothers. If you are, uh, you know, if you are already in a relationship and you don't have two people to, to what do you call it, to choose between, Okay, um, I see that something is changing within your relationship. Somebody is going to be more attentive, be more, um, be more, I guess, yeah, attentive is the word, like to you. Um, they want to cater to you. I'm hearing cater to you. Uh, they want to, yeah, with the gourmet chef here, they, they might cook for you, you know? You might cook for someone. You might find yourself cooking for someone or making something to eat for someone, for your partner, right? You might have to listen to your partner, uh, if this is you in a relationship, you might have to listen to your partner, you know, uh, complain about their job and, and how, 
and and just listen to them basically you know also I'm seeing that some of you this week you're going to maybe if you're not already working out you might start a new workout regime okay um, or a workout routine um, yeah you're changing a lot in your life you're you're making a lot of uh, positive changes I'm hearing because I'm seeing here with positive changes maybe you you are going to uh, therapist maybe you decide to um, seek the help of a therapist okay it doesn't necessarily have to be a therapist per se but with Queen of Cups here uh, it could be uh, a reader a Reiki healer um, someone very intuitive someone very empathic right someone who can who can um, is a good listener all right so some of you might be um, Yeah, uh, seeking seeking the, the the advice of either a therapist or a intuitive or a energy reader, just like me. Um, yeah. Okay. What else? Anything else? Swiftness, yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, movement this uh, week for you, pal number one. A lot of things happening for you, going out to dinner. Um, I'm seeing here with fortitude too. It's it's like yeah, it's like you trying out new. Some of you might be trying out new recipes, or you might be. It, it's nothing too crazy except for I'm seeing this lovers and the empress here. If you are not in a relationship, be excited, okay? Because this next week, someone is taking action to court you, I guess, to, to date you, right? And to treat you right, okay? All right, um, what else am I getting? With strength here, some of you might actually, I, I'm also hearing you might want to take your pet to the, uh, for a checkup. I'm hearing because I'm seeing this looks like a vet and she's you know she's like um, checking the mouth of a dog all right it doesn't I, I'm sure I'm, I'm pretty sure none of you out there have a lion as a pet and if you do um, can we be friends <laughs> but yeah if, if you if you have a lion as a pet I mean you do you but but I'm seeing a dog maybe you have a bigger dog maybe you have you know a uh, dog with uh, you know the bigger type dogs maybe a Labrador maybe a golden retriever maybe a husky maybe a the bigger dogs okay I like Shiba Inus yeah one of my favorite dogs they're not too big but they can get big right or the Akita right yeah you're going to some of you might actually go out on a date and uh, someone here is going to enjoy your food you're going to enjoy your food I'm hearing and this is coming after like it's it's a relaxing weekend uh, it's a relaxing week I'm hearing uh, other than you, you know, if you're if you're you know working out and stuff like that, um, it's going to be relaxing. It's going to be chill. Someone is going to take action. Okay, movement. There's a lot of movement happening this week. You're not going to be sitting around at home, you know, doing nothing. This is not the week for pal number one to be doing that. Okay, <laughs> you're being advised to go out, um, have a nice dinner. Um, I don't necessarily see see you guys having a you know celebratory thing, but you you might celebrate your love, you know, with the lovers here, okay, and the empress. Celebrate your love. Just a chill weekend, okay. Even though, yeah, I'm hearing like like. Um, it, 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 what you call it? it, you could have had like the past weeks, you could have had like difficult, a, a difficult time, but this week 
is the time where is the week where you know things are going to feel good you know no worries yeah okay pal number one so i'm going to end the reading there thank you so much for coming to my reading that is what's going to happen for you um that's what's coming up for you in the week ahead um i hope that reading resonated with you if it didn't resonate with you you can go ahead and choose another pal if it did resonate with you remember to like comment share subscribe and also hit that notification bell so that you guys get notified on future uploads if you'd like to book a personal reading for me you can find my email details down below in the description box email me there and i'll send you the rates thank you so much for all the bookings for all the donations for all the um likes for all the comments for every single thing you guys i truly appreciate each and every single one of you and i will see you in my next video okay bye Hi pal number two, so you guys chose plenty of material things with bowl, okay? For some reason, I'm hearing some of you might <laughs> find yourselves going out to buy, um, I guess, I don't know why, I'm hearing cutlery or, or bowls, plates and bowls, new things for uh, uh, your place, your home, you might be sprucing up your home. Um, I'm here with plenty of material things here. You might be getting a raise, you might be getting a bonus, some sort of bonus will be coming through, some sort of money will be coming through from wherever, okay? You have manifested um, this and you are going to be... Um, I'm hearing uh, enjoying the fruits of your labor, I'm hearing, okay? Uh, with uh, plenty of material things here um, you might be shopping you might be going out uh, yeah grocery shopping any kind of shopping at all but I'm, I do see grocery shopping you might want to stock up on pineapples I don't know why I just heard that pineapples for some reason pineapples is good for um, I'm hearing like it's good for your reproductive health all right um, bananas would be good for uh, your um, What's that? Is it dopamine? Serotonin or something? If you eat more bananas, um, <laughs> you might feel a bit happier. Look at monkeys. They're never sad, right? <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, you might be buying new um, stuff for the home, okay? You might even be buying new furniture. Uh, you might be... Um, some of you might have just recently re relocated or you're going to relocate this this particular pile for pile number two this might carry on to two weeks three weeks uh, ahead of you all right uh, because I don't think you're going to be able to buy everything every, everything in one week maybe you you'll be shopping around um, yeah What's going on? bowl some of you might go bowling okay i'm hearing uh some of you might uh someone might invite you to go bowling <laughs> a bowl what else am i seeing bowl. you might decide to eat healthier you might decide to um go on a juice cleanse i'm hearing some of you might be going on a juice cleanse because with all this uh fruit right um it's a new more time just to make things right Go away. i'm also hearing pomegranates pomegranates are really good for you okay because i'm seeing these tiny red I, I hope you see i think you see these like tiny little like berry things okay so berries too right stock up on berries mm -hmm. cherries you're pretty comfortable you're going to be comfortable all right in the next week or two that's what i'm doing Just right. you're making things right something about you making fixing things around the house, making things right. So if anything is around the house that is, I'm hearing even leaking or 
and you haven't been able to you know get around to, to fixing that you will be able to fix things around your house so if something is broken around your house you'll be able to fix it okay this is something that you might have been I'm hearing you might have been uh, uh, worrying about uh, for a while but you haven't got you you've been procrastinating I'm hearing but this week you'll be able to fix um, the things that need fixing around your home I'm hearing okay so let's just uh, split this deck because I want to shuffle it properly good things happening for you this week next seven days Some of you might uh, be from, well, I think a lot of you are from the US, okay, United States of America. And some of you might live around the Malibu area. You might be going to Malibu, or you might live in Malibu, or you might be from Malibu. So, um, Ace of Swords, very nice. You have Ace of Swords. I'm gonna get all the cards out first. That's a lot of cards. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, wealth, look at that. Look at that, okay? Ten of Pentacles. Worry, five of pentacles. We have debauch, okay? Debauchery. <laughs> Peace and debauchery, which is two completely like contrasting energies here. I'm also hearing drinks. Some, some, you, you might be ordering a drink uh, with the name Malibu in it, okay? Um, I just heard that because I'm seeing all these drinks here. Do you see this? Okay, with the Bosch here and uh, Seven of uh, Cups, right? Um, I'm seeing that... Um, yeah, if you don't live anywhere near Malibu, you might go to... You, you might go out uh, partying or clubbing this weekend or celebrating something celebrating your wealth celebrating your money celebrating the money that that has come in for you after a while of after a period of I'm hearing um, <laughs> a period of five of pentacleness right uh, and if you don't know what the five of pentacles is is being in lack right yeah. You've been worrying about some of you have been, have been worried about your health because I'm seeing uh, you see that worry and then uh, a doctor you know you've been worrying about your health you you might be worried about your health a little bit but with the ace of swords here you're there's going to be clarity surrounding um, your health all right and you're going to be celebrating you're going to be you're going to finally be at peace okay with the two of swords here all right um, because a lot of things are turning around for you. And look at these two cards that just came out. I didn't want to say, we have the star and the knight of wands. And look at this, the star, uh, sorry, the knight of wands here is the rock star and uh, the star. You guys, whoever you are, you could be a performer, all right? You could be someone who works um, in the nightlife, all right? Um, 
you could be a musician with a rock star here. It doesn't necessarily have to be. You could be a comedian. You could be a stand-up comedian. You could be doing something on stage. I'm seeing here, and that's very, very prominent um, with the star and rock star here. Also, I'm hearing like um, you could be an artist. Okay, you could. Uh, this week, you you might be working on. Uh, I'm hearing. What do you call that? An exhibition, your own exhibition, because I'm seeing this with all these, uh, it, it, it looks like plaques to me, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah. You might be achieving some sort of plaque. You, you, you will be celebrating this week. Pile number two, who are you? Who are you? And this is coming after a time of you being worried. Maybe a lot about your health, your well-being, your financial health, I mean, okay? You have nothing to be worried about with peace here, okay? Just be at peace, all right? If you are in this five of pentacles state, be at peace because this is coming in for you very soon. And we're talking about the next week or so, right? Because like I said, I don't like to look too far into the future. But just now I said like maybe one or two weeks you guys are celebrating something the seven of cups here you're going to be even though you're going to be surrounded by you know rowdiness and debauchery right you're going to be at peace with your life a lot of material things you're going to be taken care of materially materially material wise you're going to be taken care of financial wise. You are going to be exalted with the star and rock star here. People are going to um, celebrate you, okay? Uh, yeah, some of you are on a platform. You could be putting up your music and whatever it is on YouTube and then all of a sudden it just goes viral, who knows, right? Um, if this is what you're trying to manifest, this is coming in for you, okay? Oh wow, okay, so I'm seeing this as, okay, do you see this? This looks like the Arc de Triomphe to me, okay, in France. So, so some of you might be from uh, France, all right? Paris. Yeah, you might be traveling. Look at this, I just saw that. Do you see the silhouette of an airplane right there, right? So yeah, you might be traveling. doesn't necessarily have to be France, but you might be traveling to somewhere in France. What am I seeing? A, a Europe. Yeah. That's nice, pile number two, whoever chose pile number two, nice reading. Okay, bottom of the deck, let's see. Futility, seven of swords. All right, what does that mean? Why, why, why? Good things happening for you. I mean, don't, don't. Pile number two, someone here is thinking it sounds too good to be true, okay? If you keep saying that in your mind, if you find yourself thinking, ah, this is too good to be true, then it will always be too good to be true, okay? Nothing is too good to be true. Tell yourself no dream is too big, right? 
No dream is too big. You can manifest this. It says here in the spread, there's a lot of synchronicity here with wealth, plenty of material things, the star, rock star, you are you're good I'm also hearing seven of swords here you might find out that someone has been you know um, lying to you even though that's not a good thing okay I'm hearing that once you find out this person is lying to you that it's a good thing because you it's almost like you get clarity about something um, in regards to whoever this is okay um, let's see I'm gonna keep that out I'm going to see what is this futility uh, I think I'm going to use a different deck futility let's use the angels angel to <clears throat> what is that yeah you're gonna find out that someone has been not truthful but you're going to be happy about this because it gives you, it almost gives you a reason or it gives you uh, like a free pass to leave this person alone. And maybe you have been wanting to leave this person alone for a while, but you, 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 you kind of uh, have been, you know, back and forth about it. Yeah, with the Two of Swords here, you haven't been able to make a decision. Um, two of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're kind of confused about whoever this is. Whoever this is, whoever this person is around you, they could have been affecting your health, your energy, your abundance, your happiness, your your peace. Okay, let's see. Seven of Swords. Clarify. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have temperance. The three of uh, the three of cups. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the queen of cups. You've been lied to about either a Sagittarius or you're you're going to find out some sort of truth about a Sagittarius, okay? Um, Sagittarius is uh, showing up uh, prominently here with the temperance. You could be a Sagittarius, okay? You're going to find out about a third party situation. But you're going to be really happy because it's going to is going to help you move away from someone. Yeah. And once you move away from that person, this is when this Ace of Pentacles, this wealth and this abundance is coming in. All right? Okay? Queen of Cups. I'm hearing that your intuition is telling you something about whoever this is. It could be that you find out that this person is actually in love with you. Yeah. Or someone is in love with someone else. You could find out that with the Seven of... S 
it's weird because seven of swords ace of pentacles temperance and three of cups and the queen of cups these are like four good cards that came out so i feel like you're going to find out that there is either sagittarius who is hiding their love for you um who is pretending to not want anything to do with you pretending that they <laughs> they don't see you okay okay so the signs I'm seeing most prominently here is with the rock star knight of wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius the star Aquarius we have um, yeah Sagittarius energy is strong we have what else the signs that I'm seeing most prominently water signs Queen of Cups uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio mm. Funny Valentine, I hate to say farewell. Whatever, whatever, um, whatever this thing is going to be reveal, revealed to you, it's not going to put you in a state of worry. It's going to make you feel actually relieved that you don't have to deal with this anymore. You know that's what i'm hearing with temperance here it's going to bring you back into balance for some reason this lie that comes out is going to bring you into balance with temperance and it's going to help you feel and it's strange it's going to this lie that 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 arises or that you catch on right is going to make you feel like yourself again Okay, so someone is hiding something and it might be a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Sagittarius. I'm also hearing Earth sign too, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's almost like a, 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 a good lie. Okay, pal number two. Um, I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pal. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading for me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email, email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. And I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye. Hi pal number three, so um, you guys chose Nest, right? Some of you this week, uh, I'm hearing that you guys are just going to spend a lot of time at home. Um, some of you are spending more time with family. You're, um, you're going to be able to meet up with family. Some of you are finding out that um, maybe one of your family members, again, I'm getting this message of being pregnant because I'm seeing the eggs here, all right? Um, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you so I'm also hearing that you might be you know um, thinking about your family you might be missing your family this weekend or you you might be doing something with uh, your family this weekend or um, maybe this weekend or this week I'm hearing an emotionally secure loving family is important to you so family is forefront in this week for you pal number three okay some of you i mean i'm hearing you might even um uh maybe you've come across a bird's nest recently and yeah <laughs> you might have seen a bird's nest recently or you might have seen you know birds 
little baby birds uh, hatching. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe you're, you're someone here is, um, maybe you save a bird this week. Maybe you help the bird, put the bird back uh, or bring the bird back to its family or something. That's very specific, all right? Or you save a bird from one of your pets. <laughs> I'm hearing, and that's happened to me before, like one or two years ago. I literally had to save me, uh, a bird from the grips and the claws of Minky. Anyways. Let's see. What is happening for you? The good things that are happening for you this week. All right, so we'll be looking into the next seven days, basically, right? Or so. Wow. So we have, uh, what's this? Four or something? <laughs> I think it's four of cups. It says here luxury, okay? Luxury. Again, just hanging out at home, you know, uh, you know, putting your feet up. Maybe not as grimy as that, but yeah. <laughs> That was a bit grimy to me, but yeah, you'll be hanging out, if not with family, friends who are close to you. You might have some friends over. But there's something about the home home life. You you'll be you'll be spending a lot of time this week at home. Some of you might even be you know homebodies, and or you just might feel like I don't want to go out this week. I just want to chill at home. I want to hang out with my friends or my family, watching a, a movie, you might be watching a movie. That looks like spilt milk. Milk and cookies. Right? Why is that man sitting like that? Okay, you might be hanging out with your brother. Okay, some of you might have a brother or, yeah, your brother might be visiting. So you might be, um, th these look like two brothers or two sisters, okay? Uh, ticket where it resonates but yeah a friend you might be hanging out with someone who you consider family one-on-one uh, -on -one time with them watching vid movies movie night or something okay we have interference with eight of swords we have two of pentacles change we were getting high so some of you might be just chilling out at home you know um, getting high you're getting a little drunk just uh, yeah <laughs> I'm hearing some of you okay with interference here like I said you might be watching movies but then all of a sudden like you find out that your uh, internet is wonky or um, something is happening to the, 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 technology that you use to watch your movies or whatever it is. So with interference here, okay, you, you, you need to be careful. Um, some of you, <laughs> why am I getting this? Uh, you might end up having to fix um like an electrical appliance around your home that's what i'm hearing and again with change here some of you might be just like you know working out at home something about home here again it's with your brother or your sister you're going working out with your brother or your sister um you might not necessarily be working out you might be going taking a walk with them you know somewhere around the ho house nine of pentacles we have gain okay Clarify. 
Five of Swords. It says here defeat. Okay. I get a message. <clears throat> and we have the nine of what's this? The nine of cups, which is happiness. So nine nine could be a significant number. Nine could be a significant number. Um, yeah. Uh, bottom of the deck we have three of wands, virtue. Okay, we have virtue. All right. So what I'm seeing here is that the next seven days for you is going to be pretty chill. Look at this. She's hanging out in a pool, you know, and with gain and luxury here, you guys, you might be drawn to another pal, right? Because uh, pal number two specifically, because I'm seeing here with luxury and gain, you're going to be gaining some sort of a bonus or... I don't know inheritance money is coming from out of nowhere for you okay and you're going to feel luxurious you're going to feel like you have no worries so you're not rushing anywhere you're not rushing to spend all this money so it's almost like you you're happy just gaining things okay and you're 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 chilling here some of you might be chilling by the pool you know just hanging out by your pool um, but I do see that some of you <laughs> uh, with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords, you might lose a bet with uh, one of your brothers or one of your friends, whoever it is that is coming, whoever it is that you're spending time with, you might be betting. Some, some, someone here is, uh, I don't know why this is very masculine um, energy that's coming through. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but okay, so the, this, this, this part of the reading is more for the masculine energy if you have a bromance with someone or your brother you're going to be either one of you is going to lose a bet that's what I'm hearing you're losing a bet or your brother or your friend is going to lose a bet and you will be gaining one of you will be gaining <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this and then with the two of Pentacles and happiness like you're 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 going to be pretty happy this uh, week right pal number three okay and with the uh, three of uh, wands here I think you'll be making plans to 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 travel somewhere I'm hearing maybe you'll be making plans with your friend here or your family member or your brother or your sister okay but it's like a, it's like you guys are going to be traveling together somewhere but you'll be making plans this week you're not going to be traveling i don't see you traveling this week per se but you'll be making plans to travel losing a bet someone here is i hope it's not you okay I hope it's not you that's losing a bet, but even if you do, you're you still you're still you're still in luxury. I mean, if, even if you do lose a bet, right? I don't know why I'm getting this. Lose a bet, you're still going to be chill about it. It's not like you're losing everything. Some of you might be offering or betting on some sort of, uh, I don't know, electronic item here. Okay. I'm also hearing playing games. You might be just like hanging out, you know, playing video games with your friends, playing cards. feeling like everything's a-okay drinking milk and cookies <laughs> okay this pal you're pretty this is like the most like I think the the, the normal week kind of pal right nothing crazy just living life and being happy 
if you are um, uh, keeping up with a workout regime for some reason I'm hearing I don't know why I'm hearing workout regime but but like the two of you what was that the two of you the two of you are going to motivate each other to you know um, go to the gym or something or work out you know um, and with uh, it's, it's going to make you feel good with happiness here okay pile number three I think that's all for you guys um, uh, that is and I don't see any specific signs here. I do see like uh, air most prominently with eight and five here of swords. Air, pentacles, earth signs, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have also cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, those are the signs I'm seeing. And um, oopsies. What else? Just try not lose the bet, <laughs> okay? Because if not, it's going to interfere with your happiness here, with your chill. You're going to be like, what the fuck? But I'm not trying to manifest that for you. I think here, you watching this reading, it's already manifesting, uh, manifesting the fact that you are going to be luxurious. You are the one who's gaining and you will be happy, all right? So yeah, you're going to win a bet this week. Pile number three. So try your luck with your friend. Bet, <laughs> Bet with your, your friend or family member, whoever it is. Okay? So I'm going to end the reading there. Thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pal. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for the comments, for every single thing, you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. And I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye.